did the TSMC's outlook match your expectations? I mean, they did sound very cautious around the whole tariff situation. Yeah, so uh, as you say, that Q2 was so strong and the Q3 guidance actually is also better than expectation. We already expect they will raise the, uh, the full year 2025 revenue guidance, but we expect this to be raised to high 20%. But management actually directly raised less to 30% growth for this year from mid 20%. Actually, that is the surprise and the very positive message from management. And that is also that is driven by AI. And then the, another key message is that T, uh, TSMC management still expect another strong growth for AI into 2026. So, which means the outlook for TSMC in 2026 should be still very strong. Okay, so the, the, the demand is staying intact, and uh, I get that. But uh, one thing that we need to go through here, so the NVIDIA story, the H20 getting cleared to enter China and so on, but the management was talking about how TSMC is not hiking its outlook on the back of that particular story. What do you think they're waiting for? Is it too early to, I mean, they said it's too early to quantify the impact. What is the impact that you see and why do you think that they're saying it's too early at this point in time? Yeah, so for example, for the H20, that's a uh, export to China now is available. So that's definitely will have some incremental uh, benefit to TSMC. But the core business, I mean, mm -hmm. the, the larger portion of the NVIDIA still the new chips, the black wheel, and that is still the large portion for TSMC. So uh, as they already raised the revenue guidance to 30%, I think that's partially also due to this kind of H20 shipments. But the major reason still the overall uh, AI investment is very strong, and that's also drive the strong growth for TSMC. Yeah, so, I mean, margins are strong, demand is solid, but of course we have to bring in this uh, U.S. expansion angle. And when the company is pledging, what, $165 billion U.S. dollars to make advanced semiconductors in the United States, that is going to translate into lower margin, no? Yeah, so uh, management also uh, give the comment on that. They say that uh, the negative, they, there should be the some negative impact on their gross margin. And the negative gross margin impact from these overseas fabs, including like uh, US, Japan, also like the new fab in Germany, this kind of fab, altogether actually should have two to three percentage points impact every year in the next two to three years. And then we have three to four percentage points every year in the next three to five years. And I think that is uh, manageable uh, if we factor in uh, their structure profitability improvement for advanced notes. Mm -hmm. And that is also why TSMC is so confident on this long-term gross margin target of 53% or higher. And we believe that uh, at this point, we are also likely to see the upper, upper revision for that numbers uh, in the future. And, and overall, we see the beta structure profitability for TSMC over the past 10 years uh, due to this uh, strong technology leadership. And uh, if you see that, uh, for example, uh, the current gross margin label is high 50%, uh, even they have the unfavorable currency impact. But if we see the five years ago, their gross margin label actually was only uh, low, fi low 50%. And uh, compared with 10 years ago, actually this, this was only high 40%. So you can see that the, this kind mm -hmm. of improvement over the 10 years is very clear. That's the major reason is due to the very strong, the stronger structure profitability in the advanced node because there's no competition. So they can keep the very high utility share and the very strong pricing bargaining power. There is no competition. You also have to be a Forex expert in 2025 watching the Taiwan dollar as well, Kevin. Uh, what, you know, what is your call on the stock itself based on what kind of call for the Taiwan dollar at the moment? Yeah, so Taiwan uh, dollar appreciate a lot uh, com against the U.S. dollar. So over compared to six months ago, actually is the around ten, more than ten percent appreciation. So every one percent uh, uh, appreciation actually uh, will lead to 
one percent revenue impact directly, and also a point four percentage point gross margin impact because seventy percent of their uh, cost actually is in Taiwan dollar. So actually, that is uh, if we put that to the uh, EPS impact, that should be one percent. Uh, Taiwan dollar appreciation mm -hmm. could have one to two percent impact on their uh, uh, EPS. However, due to the very strong demand and very high utilization rate and the very uh, very high SP improvement, actually that could still lead to the very high margin for TSMC, as we mentioned about this level, the high fifty percent gross margin at this uh, level, even we factor in the, uh, the currency impact.